Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 settings that you must change on your iOS 18 device to make sure that you have the best battery life possible on your iPhone running the new iOS 18. Now, of course, when it comes to battery life, there are a lot of things that, of course, will have an impact on how much battery life you get out of your battery, but there are also a ton of settings that do have a huge impact. That's why you need to change them and configure them the right way. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to quickly give you guys an advice here when you go to your settings on iOS 18 you will see here the battery section now it's at the top of the settings app and go to charging here and you will find this slider if you have this slider on your device make sure you set it at 90 percent right there this is the best you can do for your iPhone. It will actually limit the charge to, of your iPhone up to 90%. That way you will get the most battery charge, but also you won't charge your iPhone at 100%, which is actually not that good for the battery health of your iPhone. And now let's get started with the settings. First of all, we have some new settings that you will be able to find on the new iOS 18. And we're going here under accessibility and we have here a pretty cool feature called vocal shortcuts. Now what you're doing here is basically you set a few actions that you can do simply by saying a few different words to your iPhone. And you can see I have a few here. So when I say, for example, flashlight, if you have this enabled, it will, it will turn on the flashlight or I can just say lock. It will lock the rotation on my iPhone. That's pretty cool. You enable it here, but it does consume a ton of battery. What I've noticed while using this feature, I have used it for a couple of days just to try it out. You can see right there, the microphone indicator. This will actually keep the microphone on right here. As you can see, it says accessibility. It's having access to the microphone. Of course, it's using the microphone and the feature is still active in the background, even though I'm not giving a command right here and I'm not using it at the moment. That way, of course, you know that it does consume a ton of battery. You can see the microphone indicator right there. Once I switch this off, it goes away. Now there is a very similar feature that you can find also here under the accessibility settings. Go to touch right here and then go to assistive touch and you will find something here called sound actions. Now with sound actions, what you're able to do is say any of these sounds right here and perform an action. So you can see the sounds right here. You can go ahead and just select a sound and you can just then go ahead and choose what you want to do. You can do things like maybe turn on the flashlight or the camera or the app switch or take a screenshot or things like that. So you will have here the, basically the ability to practice these sounds and then you can just use any of these sounds to perform these actions. This is another feature that actually does consume a ton of battery. Now there's no switch to turn it off right here, but you will have the actions and what you need to do is just go ahead and set them to none right here. So here we have the screenshot, we set it to none. That way we have this feature actually turned off. Another one that can be found under the same setting section is eye tracking. Eye tracking is another super useful feature of iOS 18, but of course it will be useful for a few people. Not everyone will need this feature because it will drain a ton of battery out of your iPhone. If you need it, you can enable it from here. You will have the slider where you can set the smoothing. Then you can zoom on the keyboard keys by enabling this button right here. So you just focus with your eyes on the keyboard. It zooms in on the keys. So it's actually a pretty great feature. I really love that Apple has added this feature to iOS 18. Of course, it will make life easier for a lot of people and that's amazing to be able to do such things. But if you don't actually use this feature or if you don't really need it, I wouldn't suggest that you keep it turned on on your device because it will drain the battery because it's always working, always tracking your eyes. That way, of course, consuming a ton of battery. Next up, we have another setting here under accessibility. And then we have here motion right here. We have autoplay message effects. Now with iOS 18, we have now a ton of different messages effects for the iMessage app. What I suggest you do if you just want to save on battery, if you use iMessage a lot and you get a ton of messages, a ton of messages with effects, go ahead and turn this off. So you don't have to have 
every message out of play on your iPhone that way draining a ton of battery. Next up, we're moving under the cellular settings. Now this is really important as cellular is one of the biggest battery drainers on your iPhone. Now what I would suggest you do here is just keep track of how the coverage of 5G is on your area. The area where you spend the most time and where you use cellular data the most. If you have a great 5G coverage, then you can turn it on. But if not, please just move to LTE. It will be much smoother and your iPhone will actually consume way less battery. If you keep 5G on or 5G auto on and you don't have a really good coverage, then it will just drain the battery out of your iPhone because it's always trying to connect to that 5G network that way consuming a ton of battery. So make sure you move to LTE. And right here under seller data settings, just move all the way down and you will find something called iCloud Drive. Now what this will do is that it will allow the iCloud Drive to use your seller data to just send files to iCloud and that will consume a ton of battery. Uploading files does consume battery and even when doing it over seller, it will consume a ton more battery. So I suggest that you keep this setting turned off. Now one of the biggest battery drainers on an iPhone is the haptic engine. So every time you get a notification, you will have vibration, you will have vibration on your keyboard, every sound that gets out of your iPhone has a vibration that does consume a ton of battery. Here's what I suggest you do. Go ahead and go under sounds and haptics and right here you will have a few different options. Now, first of all, we have haptics here. Now, I choose to never play haptics on my device, but if you want them, I'd suggest that you only keep them when your device is on silent mode. So right here, you choose play in silent mode. That's probably the best way to go. So when you have a notification, if you're on silent, you will get the vibration so you don't miss it. Also, if you're really not that big on haptics, you can switch off system haptics from here and also the keyboard feedback. Now, if you use the keyboard a lot, you're typing a lot during the day, those little haptic feedbacks that you get from your keyboard will actually accumulate and will consume quite some battery. Now, the same goes for notifications. Always make sure that you turn off notifications for most of your apps. You probably don't need notifications from things like games and like apps like that that you are actually not that important. So you can go ahead and take a look at the list of the apps that you have right here and make sure that you have most of them turned off. The ones that you don't need, absolutely turn them off. There are some apps that you might want to get notifications from, you can just put them on the scheduled summary and of course just leave on the ones that you actually need. Another huge impact will be automatic downloads. Now, especially when talking about the apps that you're having downloaded in the background and also things like music and podcasts as well. So, of course, downloads are not that they will consume a ton of battery, but they might just happen on a time when you don't have actually a ton of battery on your iPhone. So, let's say you're out, you have about 20 or 30% battery, you don't want to have your apps at that time updating in the background or downloading automatically on your iPhone. You want to switch them off from here and you can do the same for music and the podcast app as well. And last but not least is the always on display. Now, according to Apple, the always on display will consume 1% of battery in one hour. And if you accumulate that during the day, if you have your iPhone out of your pocket or out of your purse, the screen will be on the always on display and it should consume about, let's say 15, maybe 20%. What I suggest you do is go here. And if you really not that big on the this always on display you can just turn it off or what i suggest you do at least turn off the wallpaper so the only thing you will see is a dark screen and only the clock that's maybe the best way to go so you don't have a brighter screen you're only showing the clock there and it actually looks quite cool so if we go here you can see nothing to see there just the clock and the current date so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more ios 18 videos and i will see you on the next one